Welcome back to another video here in Pennsylvania, folks. And today we're in Bucks County, which is just north of Philadelphia here in southeastern Pennsylvania. We're going to be spending the day here. Nice little day trip, stopping at a couple different places. There's a cool old uh, meeting house behind me. This is the Plumstead Friends Meeting House, it's called. I believe it's a, Qu a Quaker, part of the Quaker religion, which comes into our video today, into our story. Of course, you can see by the title of the video, we're going to be talking about the Doan Gang, a band of uh, Tories, loyalists, during the 1770s and through the 1780s, during the time of the American Revolution. They're quite, quite well known in this area. And a number of years ago, I think back in 2018, I kind of started a little series on them, but I kind of let it go. Kind of got distracted by some other stuff. But we're going to pick that up again today. Let me show you around first. So up there is the meeting house. That is Point Pleasant Pike, the road back there. So we're not too far from Plumstead in the Delaware River. Here is the Quaker Cemetery. And we will be looking for two tombstones that are back here, but they're not located within the cemetery itself. They're located without located on the other side of the wall, I believe, over there due to the nature of the two men that were buried. They were part of the Doan Gang. The Quakers didn't really necessarily believe in burying criminals within the graveyard, so they were buried on the other side of the stone wall. Yes, the Doan Gang was made up of a number of brothers. There was Moses, who I believe was the oldest. Uh, Moses, there was Aaron, there was Levi, Malon, Joseph. I have a list here, because <laughs> a lot of them. There's a cousin Abraham, too. But they were all, like I said, they were loyalists, or sometimes referred to as Tories, during the American Revolution. And they were also Quakers, they didn't necessarily believe in fighting either. But they, um, they acted as spies for the British Army. And then one story says that, uh, I think it was Moses, helped the British during the Battle of Long Island. And that's one of the reasons why General Washington lost that battle. Um, because it's kind of difficult too, because there are all kinds of myths and legends about them. Another one regarding the British is that one of them, Maybe Moses, again, tried to warn the British about General Washington's crossing of the Delaware River right before the Battle of Trenton, which, which they lost, the, the, the British. So, but yeah, they also robbed quite a few people. They were known for robbing a lot of the tax collectors in the area. I think they robbed one bank. You know, there was a bounty put on their heads. So they were very, very notorious gang in, in this area. Bucks County, all the way over into my own county, Berks County. Kind of a well-known tradition in this area. Sorry, it's a bit of a breezy day out here too. But anyway, I'm gonna let's find their tombstones. I'll tell you a little bit more about them and what I plan to do in this series. Because this is gonna be part of my treasure in Pennsylvania series. Because there's all kinds of stories about them burying treasure out in these places too. Some of their hideouts. Alright, so here's walking through the Quaker Cemetery here. Back behind the meeting house. So I think back in the back wall here we'll see them. Yeah, it's quite breezy out here today. Although there is one veteran buried up here. I think they did that in later years. Not right there. Alright, so I think on the other side of this wall maybe? Alright, so we'll check over here first. This looks like there's people that live back here too, so I don't know. I want to be careful. I don't see nothing back here. Oh, I do, right here they are. Abraham, and I think Levi too. Yeah, right here they are. A little bit more sheltered from the wind over here too. Yeah, Abraham Doan, I think this is the cousin, son of Israel and Rachel, died December 9th, 1788. Oh no. Not scratch it. <laughs> what did I say September? Oh no, it is. Yeah, the 9th. September 24th, 1788. So they have the American flag here and also the British flag here because that's technically that's who they fought for. Even though they didn't actually fight in battles, they were British spies. So that, that is fitting. I think the other one over here is Levi. Yeah, Levi, son of Joseph and Hester. 9 24, 1788 an outlaw. Once again, that's why they're buried on this side of the cemetery. 
um, the fate of other, some of the other brothers, Moses was uh, killed in 1783 in, in a capture attempt, but I think in, in a result of his capture, a British officer was killed as well. Uh, but he's buried somewhere in this area, uh, in a field, but then his tombstone was removed and kind of thrown into like a hedgerow on the side of his field. I've seen pictures of it, but in my research I can never find exactly where it was, so that's kind of interesting. But he, he was the first one to go, I guess you could say. And I have some notes here. Um, Aaron, Aaron Doan was pardoned on the condition that he left America and would not return. And there's a brother named Malon, kind of different name, put the name down here maybe. Um, he made it to New York City, I guess. I guess you could say he got away from it all. And then there was another brother, Joe Jr., because dad was Joe Sr. He, uh, he escaped um, and uh, was a school teacher in New Jersey for at least a year, but then it was discovered who he was and he ended up fleeing to Canada. So, so most of the other brothers survived. Um, but as you can see, that some didn't here. But as with most gangs and outlaws and their legends, there's all kinds of stories of treasure and hiding places and things like that. And it's no different with the Doan gang. Like I said, years ago, I did film some of the locations um, where they were said to have, have hit out and things like that. But we're gonna go revisit some of those locations and head to others that we haven't been to. Not in this video, but in future videos. I'm gonna do a little mini-series on the Doan gang within my Pennsylvania Treasure series, if that makes sense. I know there's, never, there's several caves named after them. We went to one, it's called Doan Cave. And I searched for another one in an area called High Rocks. Both are right within the Ralph Stover State Park area. Because I came across some information that there was a hideout in what's now Tyler State Park. Because I mentioned too, like early where I live, um, they were active too. And there's a place that's not part of Wiser State Forest. It's called Indian Gap, not the Indian Town Gap. That's up in Lebanon County, the military reservation. This is one down in Berks County. It's not called Indian Gap anymore. We'll talk more about that when we get that. But when we do that video, but that supposedly that's where a lot of them were captured. And before they were captured, you know, they hid some of their loot in the area. That's a big myth. And there's supposedly caves along the Delaware Creek that they hit at near Point Pleasant, which is just nearby. So we're going to try and hit up some of those areas and do some looking around. I don't think we'll find any treasure, but, you know, that's part of what we do in this channel is go, just go look for places. So that's what we're going to do in this series. Going to do a little more research on the Doan Gang and try to find some of their hideouts. Maybe take a little metal detector along. See if we can, some of those caves, see if we can find anything. I guess I doubt it, but you never know. But like I said earlier, there are a lot of myths and legends about them, not just talking about their exploits and as spies and as thieves and stuff, but also regarding their treasure, where their hideouts were and location of them and what all was found there or could be found there and things like that. And you know, when you do research on them, you'll come up on you know treasure hunting forum sites where people will chat back and forth about where they think things are buried and stuff like that. It's kind of interesting. But anyway, I'm glad we, we stopped in. I've always I've been wanting to come here for a while, but just kind of, anyway, today it happened, so. All right, so we will leave Levi and Abraham here. Looks like there might be an older, I wonder if this is an older, because these look a little bit newish, maybe, for 1700s, but I wonder if some of these are the original markers back here. But I'm not gonna disturb them. We got Abraham over here. I should probably get a picture of myself with Abraham. I think I got one with uh, Levi over there already. I did notice there's like a little piece of paper down here. Truth was in their own spirit, for they believed in their cause. Forever Tories, outlaws, and condemned now rest in freedom's land. I mean, you know, the, yeah, I'm just thinking about that a little bit. You know, those words are fitting, you know, they, they believed in their own cause, just because they sided with the British, you know, we think, well, that makes them bad, you know, but, yeah, it's a bit complicated. You know, I wasn't planning on talking about that at all, but we have that tendency, just because someone doesn't agree with what we do, or how we think that they're wrong, you know, just because someone, just because folks who didn't fight for the American side, were they wrong, you know, I mean, they... There were, a lot, there were a lot of loyalists, or Tories, you know, people who wanted to stay part of England, you know. Was it wrong for them to do so? You know, and the answer has to be reality, no. I mean, from a patriotic standpoint, we think they're wrong, but reality is... Were they wrong? You know, I'm just thinking about that a little bit. Anyway. Yeah, just thinking about that a little bit more. You know, if the British had won the War of Independence, the Revolutionary War, these individuals would be heroes. 
they'd be buried somewhere else. And they'd have a monument placed over them because they were spies. You know, and they did help the British win, so therefore they'd be heroes. But because they were on the other side, they're outlaws and they're buried outside here with cemetery, just kind of in this brush back here. That's just the way it is with history, you know? Depending on which side you're on. You know, yeah, I just think about that, you know, they, they fought for the side that they believed in, you know, and in a way you have to respect that. To a degree, I guess you could say. Anyway. Alright, I'm just, anyway. Alright. I guess we'll get going. Alright, so we will leave them in peace back here behind the wall. Just kind of lost and forgotten back here. Head back out into the wind. So that'll be it then, folks, for this video. But like I said, in the future, we'll be visiting some of those sites where some of the events of the Doan Gang occurred, some of their potential hideouts and things like that, potentially where treasure might be buried. But uh, that'll be in some future videos. You know, if you have any inf more information you want to share with me on some of those locations you may, or where Moses is buried, I'd like to find that spot. But I should say, if you want to learn more about the Doan Gang, I didn't mention every little exploit of theirs in this video. There's a whole list of the things that they did, the places they robbed, the people, and their activities. You can do more research online if you're interested in that. But I'm going to continue my day trip here in Bucks County and visit a few other spots in the area. So hopefully I'll see you, see you around, folks.